Oh, 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 oh shit, the song ended. Oh, oh, oh. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Sunday with Ola number 43. Welcome. It's another Sunday. It's actually been spring break here in Sweden for me and my kids. So the week has been a little bit shorter, but I've been working my ass off uh, just to get, you know, Sunday with Ola happening and all the rest of the shit right there. And, you know, I really don't have anything to say. So I'm just going to head into the news. And, uh,. So we actually have a bunch of really, really cool news for this week uh, that I'm a little bit excited about. First one being that Fender unveils stunning 2021 custom shop prestige collection featuring guitars with no boundaries. I mean, what a headline. Thank you. I mean, take a look at this. One off master built creations include a Sugar, Surprise Strat, Acrylic Jazz Master and Double Neck Marauder. I have to say that Fender has really been doing a great job lately uh, with uh, putting out some sick ass guitars out there on the market. I, I must say, at least they're at least they're interesting, in a sense. You know, they they have the new stainless steel fret guitars and all that. I mean, they're they're, they're just pushing. I like that. So basically, what it is, it's a guitar or a bass that has been designed by one of Fender's master builders. Basically, you know, the custom shop guy designing his own guitar. And I think that's really, really fucking cool. Paul Waller, Sugar Surprise Strat. Can I enlarge this little penis right here? No? How do I enlarge penises? Uh, that That's weird when you're out... Like, like when you're on a website somewhere, it's just really easy to find ways to enlarge your penis. But here, uh, I just can't find uh, the uh, button where... Okay, zoom in. That's it. Look at that, okay. Sugar skull theme of the guitar. Oh, Paul Whaler's Sugar Surprise Strat. I like this. Look at that. Holy shit. Okay, I want to zoom in more. Is it plus? Plus. Oh, look at that. Minus. Oh, okay. Look at that. One absolute beauty. Okay, next one. Who's this guy? Can I? <laughs> Please? I don't want to see this right now. I know. You're, you're looking cool and all, but how do I... Re there it is, X. Okay. Yuri Shishkov, Leaves of Tears. Wow. That is a stellar looking beauty right there. Maybe not my cup of tea, you know, it's a lot, a lot of bling 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 bong. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely something to put on your wall, if anything. It looks great. What else? Scott Buell, Acrylic Jazz Master. Acrylic is... Uh, it's nice. It's basically, one, you know, it's one of those see-through guitars where you see through uh, the guitar. Uh, check this uh, YouTube video and, and you'll, you'll see. Visually, it speaks for itself. The that looks pretty clean, when you're looking at them, I must say. Usually, that's the, the thing with acrylic guitars. Working Usually acrylic they see, uh, they, they look a little tacky because you can all, see the, the insides. The so it's more a thing about how you uh, figure out, telecaster. you know, the wiring it's cut and how to make that look good. This looks, this looks cool, man. The contour of the cavity follows... Okay, good. Tapestry Telecaster. Okay, this is a little cool. A little, you know... Looks like my wall at home. Jason Smith Custom 60s P Bass Special. Wow, look at that. That's a... That's a cool little... A bunch of flowers. Okay, Carlos, Carlos Lopez Double Neck Marauder. Okay. Wow. That is a guitar right there. Does, does anyone actually want to own one of these guitars? That's my question. I mean, this is just such a... This is not a guitar you pick up and, you know, you sit and noodle about when you're, uh, you know, sitting at home. And, you know, quiet evening, you're having a sip of tea or whatever, your beer. And, you know, you just pick up the guitar and noodle around a little bit. You don't take this out. That's, that's my thought. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But it's still kind of cool. Cal McMillan, Custom Burled Redwood Strat. Oh, shit. That looks kind of cool. Is that a, it's, it almost looks like it's a flat top with a binding on it. Which is not really that Fender-ish. Oh, as, yeah, you can see here it's a bind... Okay, that's cool, it's a binded version. That looks pretty sick, I must say. Flashy exotic not really that Fender Stratocaster-ish, but... Still, very, uh, still a very no cool, you know, uh, Super Strat before. shape. Okay, what else? Box top telly. Okay, that's cool, I like that. What's this? Custom Flamingo Sunset Tele. Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what it is about flamingos, but they're just... They're just making me happy right now, just saying. Galuska Custom 62 Precision Bass. Oh, that's a tree right there. That's cool. Inner Horror Buff. Is this horror right here? Madeline Hanlon, 
Okay. Oh, that's cool. And that was it. Yeah, man, I, you know, I totally appreciate that they're trying to do something dif uh, different, you know. And here's this guy again. Hello. Okay, let, let's hear what he has Guitar to say. Guitar Tees is a premier t-shirt club for guitarists. And Dunnable Guitars reveals more affordable DE series. I'm Alan Chaput, and this is Guitar World News. Oh, shit, man. Alan, that's cool. Guitar World News. Not sponsored, by the way. All right, next up, we have to talk about uh, something else. Like, in the last Sunday with Ola, we listened to a guy who recorded uh, the whole Metallica song, One, using his mouth only. That was absolutely brilliant. A brilliant segment and brilliant piece of news. <laughs> and to continue on that small little piece of news right there, a couple weeks back, uh, there was a BlizzCon. You know Blizzard? Holy shit. Diablo 2 Resurrection. What? Can't wait to ruin my life again. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, anyways, Metallica was playing on this Twitch livestream, and when they were playing, Twitch replaced their music with blip blop music. <laughs> so uh, it's 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 absolutely brilliant. Check this out. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is just so great because now I can play this Metallica song without this video getting demonetized. Isn't that great? So they're rocking out, and all you can hear is this blip blop music. This happened live, by the way, as you can see in the in the Twitch chat right there. This is sort of old news, but still, I thought it was really funny. It just shows the beauty of internet right there. This is this is internet right here. Like, look at this. Amazing. You know, it's 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 a shame because people were tuning in to watch Metallica and they get got to see Metallica, but with a blip blop music. That's a shame. <laughs> So basically, everyone got trolled. Isn't that great news? Then I want to give out some uh, bummer news as well. Uh, Download has announced that their festival for 2021 has been cancelled. And we're also seeing more and more festivals getting cancelled for this summer. Which is an absolute bummer, but... I mean, if it's needed, it's needed, I understand. It just, it just sucks, man. Let's just see how this... It's, it's gonna be interesting seeing how this summer and this uh, autumn it's gonna work out. The Haunted just got booked for a festival in June. Personally, I really hope that I get to play this festival because I haven't played with The Haunted for like almost two years. And I'm super stoked about it. But at the same time, I'm also like, you know, this is just gonna get canceled or something. But I'm really, really hoping that I get out to play uh, this June. We also have a bunch of uh, shows in Sweden later in September. As of right now, it's too, it's too far away to know if it, it's gonna happen or not. We, we just have to see. But there you go. It's a little bummer news, but uh, I guess someday, man, we'll be able to watch some live shows again. I'm confident about it, okay? And that was the news. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. So I just came to the office this morning. For a very, very long time, I've had an idea in my head. I have a real hard time to getting into live streaming and, you know, getting into, you know, I, I've been trying Twitch, I've been trying YouTube and all that. I think the problem for me is just getting the uh, consistency of live streaming. It's just, it's just really hard, at least when you have, obviously, a, a YouTube channel and uh, you have other obligations and things to, to do. It's just really hard to get a you know, a consistent schedule of live streaming. So, an idea I've always had... Uh, look at this, by the way, I've kind of put my gear corner over here now, so I'm doing my, my guitar videos here in this corner. Cool, huh? So, an idea I've had for a long time uh, for the live streaming thing would be to, you know, what if people could just tune in and check out what I was doing during the day here in my office because you know obviously this is where I sit and work would it be interesting if you know people would just be able to tune in and check what I was doing at that exact moment I don't know I thought it would be an interesting experiment so that's what I've been doing this morning I've been setting up cameras and uh, I have three of them right here that are, that are basically just reporting the office so I'll show you this real quick I have this this is OBS and these are my cameras. They're basically switching in between the different rooms so people can check in on what I'm doing during the day. 
So, you know, I'm just about to uh, do a Sunday with Ola. So, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna set everything up and people are sitting in here talking right now. At this point, it's members only chat, but everyone can tune in and check it out if they want. It's just a little experiment. It's not really that much work for me. I'm just putting on the live stream and people can tune in and check if I'm trying out an amplifier or something like that. They can see when it happens, you know, at the moment where it gets recorded. And I thought that, you know, some people might think that is cool. Some people might think like, why the hell would we like to watch you more, Ola? <laughs> and that's okay. But for the people that might want to tune in, don't have anything to do, they can just sit back, listen to some music, check out what we're doing. Obviously, I'm not using a camera in the uh, the office section because here, uh, Luis is and you know my brother, and I just want to keep them a little bit private, but only in the other rooms. So if I'm in there, uh, you can watch me work. How about that? And there you have it. I'm actually live right now. Look at this. Uh, 159 people watching while I'm recording my Sunday with Ola this past week. Uh, let's just talk to these people. Hello, people. Recording Swola right now. You guys are in the video. Isn't this technology excellent right now? Look, no one's responding, by the way. <laughs> I just thought it would be cool. People can tune in to check out what I'm doing during the day. Uh, you know, I was unboxing a guitar right there, and you know, I'm recording Sunday with Ola. So you can tune in and, and see that I'm actually fucking working my ass off. You know, I'm just not sitting here, you know, doing this in my belly button and all that. I'm, I'm actually sitting here working. I was just thinking, this is really easier for me to just set up and uh, push play and I can go about my day. The people that are interested, they can watch it. The people that don't give a shit, wow, you don't have to tune in. I love that there are options out there. Just saying. Thank you. So Sunday with Ola Riff Challenge. Every week, uh, I challenge myself to write something new for the intro of Sunday with Ola. The drums from that intro is downloadable in the description of the video. You can join in and make your own riffs and I might feature you in the upcoming Sunday with Ola. It's just a way uh, to challenge you guys and challenge myself to write something fresh every week. How about that? And we're going to check out this past week's contender. And we're starting with push and play like this. First up is Miklo. With a little bit of HM2 sound, I like this. That's a sick ass setup right there. Ironheart, Tube Screamer. He's a Swede. You can hear it. You can hear it in the riffs, man. Swedish death metal. He's, he has his microphone there. I'm wondering if he's gonna sing. This part doesn't need him to sing, though. Sick. Oh, stank. Look at him. It's like he doesn't even care. But he knows he's badass. I like that. That was Miklo. Well done. Next up, we have Greg Sills. Greg Sills. Yeah. Groovy. Oh, wow. What happened? That's cool, that's different, I like that. That's a weird groove, man, I love it. Hang on, we have to go back. Pause this picture. What is that, Pantera? The Haunted? Are those old tickets? Spin to The Haunted and Pantera? What? Greg Sells, everyone. Last but not least, we have Riku Likonen. You can go and like. Riku Le Likonen. It's Finnish. It's uh, Likonen, probably. But you can say Likonen. Ooh, you know when there's a part like this, you know you're, you're in for a treat. It's gonna slam in a second. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. 
kidding me? Holy shit. Please, can you leave a little awesomeness to the rest of us, okay? God damn it, that was great. Holy shit. Go like Lycanon, okay? Riku Lycanon, that was excellent. Thank you so much. Now, if you want to be just as cool as these guys, download the drums in the description, make your own riffs, upload to uh, YouTube. Call it Ola England Riff Challenge and the number. So, if you are going to be a part of the next Sunday with Ola, write Sunday with Ola Riff Challenge number 43, okay? And I'll find you. Shit, I forgot the most important part. I got the Gary Holt guitar. I'm just gonna say hi to my guys here real quick. Hello. If you're watching this live stream, there's 200 people watching right now. So two Sundays with Olas ago, you guys voted for a guitar. You had a choice of a Starling Majesty, uh, LTD, Gary Holt guitar, or a Dime Bag, Dime of Flame guitar and you guys voted for the LTD Gary Holt so it arrived I'm gonna open it up exciting times ESP case okay all right here it is Gary Holt guitar Gary Holt of Exodus obviously and the end part of Slayer you guys ready oh shit it's in paper Oh, look at that. Here it is. Here it comes. Oof. Look at that asshole right there. All right. Let's show the people that are watching the live stream, okay? Hey guys, check out this sick guitar. It's the Gary Holt. Look at that. How many people are watching right now? Can I see? No? Okay, great. There are 215 people watching right now. That's cool. Does not smell like Gary Holt, I must say, but <laughs> probably gonna play like Gary Holt. That's nice. Look at that at the back there. Holt, made in Korea. Exciting times. All right, so I'm gonna use this in Sunday with Ola. So let's head over there. And here it is. Shit. Can I? This microphone cable is not the longest in the world, but we're okay. We can make this happen. Look at this. Here it is. Look at that fucker right there. That is a badass looking guitar. You would think that red and black wouldn't look that cool, but look at this. It looks cool. You guys are wrong. This is cool. So this is the Gary Holt guitar that you guys voted me to get. I'm gonna make a video of this guitar, obviously a proper, you know, review demo video. But right here, you're gonna get a small little teaser. Okay, so let's go. That's enough. Worth noticing. It just came out of the box. I didn't, you know, tune it or set it up or anything. That's just how it is. You just have to watch the video, okay? Thank you so much. Look at this thing. Okay. Are you guys on the live stream seeing this? Look. Ola tasting shit. What's up, everyone, and welcome to Ola Tasting Shit with Louise Tasting Shit. Uh, we're gonna continue on the Canadian package. Yep. From. Not sexual. <laughs> Canadian package, I mean. We're continuing the journey from Brad and Anne-Marie and their dog Flynn. Uh, they sent us a bunch of Canadian stuff. You can watch the first episode in the past, Sunday with Ola. We're gonna try out the chocolate and the different bars today. Uh, Yay. And, uh, we have these, Maltesers. I did not know these were Canadian. Me neither. But these uh, are available in Sweden. They are. And uh, I sort of had a short crush on these. You did? When I was a kid, I, I love these. You know what? It was available when I was on vacation somewhere. So not in Sweden. So not in Sweden. But it was when I was a kid. And I bought so many bags of these. I always thought that oh. these had a, a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. So I never really liked them. I like these. But these have a little bit, bit of a, almost like an orange flavor to it. Okay. okay, what's this? Cadbury cream egg. Whatever. With a fondant center. Ooh, ooh, look at that. 
That looks almost. Should we? Uh, we just, just, do just one? take one. Yes. We. Uh, it looks almost erotic. The same. Can I look at that? Oh. <laughs> what? Is that how what? you're supposed to do it? <laughs> Is that an artificial color right there? That's very orange. There you go. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Is Cadbury really Canadian? Isn't that British? Mondelez Canada. Toronto. I hate Mondelez. They ruined my favorite chocolate this, um, with their palm oil. The chocolate is still grainy. Mm -hmm. You taste that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's grainy. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, next up we have a Cadbury Wunderbar. Sorry. And it's exclusive free in-game content for Halo Infinite. What? I don't play kids games, okay? That looks tasty. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Is it peanut? Peanut something. Then we have a Wunderbar? It tastes familiar. It tastes very familiar. It tastes like uh, a little bit like Reese's, but better. You know, Reese's p p p Reese's. Eat more. Okay. Whatever you say, man. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> what the? Is it nuts? I guess peanuts. The same as that mm -hmm. one, but peanuts. different. Uh... Mm. Yeah. Mm, no. Do you know what I taste? It tastes like um, dates. Not my favorite. I would not eat more if uh, that was a thing. I don't know what it is. Blah. No, didn't like that. Sorry. Then we have maple sugar candies. These are cute. Bonbons élargables. That looks like a typical <laughs> classic Canadian stuff. Yeah, it looks like a small little uh, top. It has what a flag it? on it. Here you go. Here's a small little Canadian maple leaf right there. Oh, that's nice. And these ones? Are so pretty in the in the autumn. Yes. 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 Exactly. We always think about the Canadians in the autumn because that's when <laughs> yeah. the leaves are really nice. Oh, mm. it, it just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's maple syrup, but like covered in sugar, basically. Like. It's really strange. But it disappears. <laughs> it's a, it's too much. Oh too yeah, much. very. I much more prefer just drinking. <laughs> the maple syrup out of the bottle, to be this honest. This could be like half the size or something. I can't say that was my favorite, just saying. <laughs> but interesting. Uh, interesting. Uh, yes. Arrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, ah, yeah. bubble insides. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. Dark outside, milk okay. inside. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You're sitting on this thing. Sorry. I mean, it's, it tastes dark chocolate. Basically, it's nothing really particular about that. Coffee okay. crisp, okay. Uh, I know you, you're not into coffee, but I'll, I'll take one for the team. Okay, coffee crisp. Mm. We don't have to eat lunch today. <laughs> it's great. That was good. That's like a cho uh, chocolate wafer with a little bit of coffee flavor to it. <laughs> okay, it was not good. Yeah, so there you this go. one That's... we can keep. The rest, I don't know. Yes, we like the Wonder Bar, <laughs> Maltesers, uh, or Maltesers, Mal Maltesers, it doesn't, it's not a teaser. It's Malteser is also a dog uh, yes, breed. Yes, <laughs> it is. So there you go, that was everything from Brad and Anne-Marie. Thank you so much, that was uh, pure pleasure. And uh, sending all our love to our Canadian friends. Thank you so much. And you. Uh, that was Ola and Louise tasting shit, thank you. And that, my little penis friends, was Sunday with Ola 43 right there. I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope that you guys have an excellent Sunday. Maybe you should call your mom today or your dad or uh, a sibling maybe. Just give your mom a call at least. That's my little tip. I usually say this, but you know, it's important to call your mom occasionally, okay? Uh, to my beautiful members, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And to everyone that's watching this live stream, you can't hear what I'm saying right now because the live stream audio is muted. I could basically tell you to f off, but I'm not going to do that because you guys are amazing. Don't f off. F in. You know? Or f, f on. That's better. F on. Come on here. Come on this live stream and f on. Great. Thank you. Everyone, thank you for watching. See you next uh, video.